Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to the final 20th episode of the Formula 1 2012 Lotus Crema. Today we go to the Brazilian Grand Prix for the climax of the season. I think 2012 was the last time that Brazil was used as the climax of the season but has had many famous finales. The likes of 2008 where Lewis Hamilton won the championship at the last corner, 2007 where Kimi Raikkonen won the championship very narrowly by just a few points but pretty much after this uh, Abu Dhabi has been the host of that race. But we've got a very interesting championship battle going into this final race. Unfortunately, we're not involved in that battle. And we've pretty much secured sixth place. If Rosberg, Perez uh, don't win this race, then we secure sixth place. And I'm fairly sure that won't happen. But you never know what could happen in a championship finale. Lewis Hamilton's really turned it on its head, to be quite honest, though. He hasn't led the championship until this point, I believe. And with one race to go, he just needs to win the Brazilian Grand Prix. And he will be the champion of the world in 2012. The same goes for Alonso. If he can win the race, he'll win the championship. Sebastian Vettel to win the championship. Alonso has to finish lower than third. Of course, this is, this is if Vettel wins. Uh, and Hamilton needs to finish 14 points. That's 11 below low fifth. And basically, for Jensen Button to win it, all three of those drivers above him need to finish quite low down. But he needs a minimum of second place to even be in the hunt to win the championship. But it's an incredible, exciting championship battle uh, that is all to play for here. We've pretty much secured fourth place in the championship as well. We still need to fight to make sure we secure that on the numbers terms. Um, but we've pretty much beaten Sauber. If we get two points in this race, we will beat Sauber. Of course, you know, we don't need the two points um, to beat Sauber because I can't see them getting a 1-2. But you simply never know. Uh, and Mercedes needs to outscore us by 25 to beat us as well. So we've got an interesting race uh, to come in Brazil. It was a bit of a hectic one last time out in the USA. A very good uh, run from us to second place. But uh, this Brazilian Grand Prix could be really exciting. So without any further ado, let's get to the first qualifying session at the Autodromo Ho Jose Carlos Pace or the Interlagos circuit. I think that's a little bit easier. That session then wasn't too complex to get through. Top of the times. Can't be bad. Can't be bad at all, really. Uh, I would guess that the top guys have got more pace, seen as that Vern's up there. That kind of indicates that the top guys um, have more pace. But the usual six suspects are out with Petrov leading that battle. Uh, but Daniel Ricciardo is the unfortunate victim of Q1. Well, there seems not to be any improvement in times this session. Either Vettel has just set a 112.9. So setting a lap that's similar to what we did last time will be more than enough to get through. And to be quite honest, it definitely wasn't the ultimate lap. We'd got the same amount of fuel we've got in now, so with less fuel, that would maybe be a few times to improve. But of course, as always with these qualifying sessions, you've got to replicate what you did before. You know, you're not going to get through just based off, well, I did that time previous session. You've got to do that once and again. But uh, Bruno Senna sets the 10th fastest time, knocking us out with no lap time uh, to get an out of Q2. But our first sector looked just about good enough. We set the fastest sector of all, and it's four attempts clear of that drop zone. So I think, once again, we're going to fairly easily get through to Q3. And we might be able to rumble a few things in the race uh, and make ourselves a little bit of an active part of the championship battle, even though we're not really in there. Once again, no trouble, really. It'd be very interesting if this was the grid for race day with Rosberg on pole, but not quite top of the charts. But we're definitely in with a chance for pole position. Interesting to see that uh, both Kimi and Massa went out in that session. Both Force Indias as well. Both Williams cars and the Toro Rosso of Verne. So it leaves two Sabres ourselves, both McLarens, both Red Bulls, both Mercedes cars and of course one Ferrari to fight for pole position. A new marker has been set at the top of the times in this Q3 session with both Brits led by Jensen Button amazingly, even though Hamilton is the one who is most equipped to win the title of a 112.2. That's the fastest lap of the weekend so far. Can we beat that? We've got enough fuel on for three laps if needed, but probably these tyres are only really going to last in terms of their qualifying form for two hot laps. It's going to be this one or the next one if we get pole position, but I'd love to get a pole position just to round out the season. But a good grid spot um, would do the trick as well, but pole position would just be the ultimate. Just purple there, just uh, four hundredths clear of Jensen Button in that first sector. Of course, a lot of the laps still to go. A very short first sector around the first few corners of the centre S's and... Uh, the little straight, the little uh, DRS straight it is. And then into this more uh, tight and twisty Sector 2. I do really like Sector 2. Of course, Interlagos has been a circuit that's been on the calendar for a long time now. So a lot of the drivers experienced here, a lot of um, support for this race. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice one to drive around. But going to the end of the last sector, a little bit squirrely out of that corner. We're going to try and use the DRS throughout, but I'm not going to uh, bother to try to. I just want to get a good lap on the board. Lost just over a tenth 
to Jensen Button in that sector, but straight line speed might well be the difference here. It's something that we have had on some tracks, and other tracks we just have had none of it. But uh, what we're going to do is cheat a little bit here. We're going to go over the pit exit line, try and get a quicker run to the line. What's it going to be in this lap? It's a 1.12.144. We're going to set one more lap just to see if we can uh, improve that, because you never know. Uh, those guys could well improve their times and uh, take pole off us. It's not um, and it's not a, it's not a definite that we've got pole at the end of the day. They're just over a tenth behind us. Uh, but at present, we are on pole position for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Right, well, it's a British one, two, and three. If we win the race tomorrow, Jensen's got to finish in second and got to hope that Hamilton, Vettel and Alonso finish way down the field. Of course, though, as it stands, Hamilton still wins the championship where he will start. But we've seen a lot more drama in the past. Mark Webber as well in sixth. A little bit disappointing from the Mercedes drivers, but Kobayashi an impressive one to beat both of them. But now it's time for the climax of the season. We're not involved in the championship fight, but you're sure as hell that we're going to try and make ourselves involved for this final race of the 2012 season. The final race of the season and we're on pole what a fantastic feeling that is we could disrupt the championship battle but we'll have to see what happens Kimi Räikkönen all the way down outside the top 10 and we right at the front of that battle for the championship even though technically we're not going to win the championship but don't burst my bubble we've got five lights above the drivers and for the last time of the season we are away in this Grand Prix. Good start from us though, using half of our curse. No real problems with anyone around us, so we're just going to try and uh, keep ourselves to ourselves. Looking behind us though a little bit, doesn't seem the top three's changed, but uh, they're all trying to scrap round there. But we have pulled away massively from all of the other guys. Seems Lewis Hamilton has fell back a position or two, which isn't fantastic for him, but of course we will keep up to date throughout on what happens to Lewis. But uh, a fantastic start from us so far. And uh, this could be a very short highlights reel if we just run away with this race. And that's possibly might, what might happen. You, you know, it's it's well known in uh, Formula 1 seasons that in the later races, someone who's a little bit unexpected wins the race purely because the other guys are too engaged in trying to win the championship. You know, the permutations have finished here, there and everywhere. Uh, so we might well win the race. But of course, it's not over yet. We can never say that. But it'd be brilliant to end the season on a high and equally got our second win of the season, which we're potentially robbed of, arguably. Uh, in America, so a bit of vengeance for that, and we'll have to see how the championship goes throughout the race. Well, well, I knew it wasn't over. Jensen Buttons caught up to us on the straight. Luckily, though, there's no DRS just yet, so we can pull away just with the might of our curs. But uh, it seems that ourselves and Button are creeping away from the rest, and this is what Button's got to go. A little bit of a bad exit out of there particularly 1.3 seconds quicker was button last time out so he's looking really racy with the drs going to try and uh, hold you up on the outside line uh, on the inside line even and that uh, exa exactly is what's happened but of course button needs to do this he needs to win the race really to get enough of a comfortable gap to everybody in the championship and uh, win the championship but a bit interesting from the Mc mclaren that they are perhaps prioritizing prioritizing button what they might not be uh, it might just be that Hamilton's not best positioned to go and attack for the lead. And potentially Button might get the lead and help his teammate out later. But until he's got the lead, uh, that's seven more points that are just going from the team. So there's no point him not pushing. But I wouldn't push too much Button because the last time he did that, uh, that we saw, he got took out by Schumacher in the Indian Grand Prix. But as it stands, of course, um, Lewis Hamilton's still winning the championship down in fourth. But if Alonso can get up there, he will definitely win the championship. So a lot to play for. Uh, I don't think we'll be tuck here with the DRS. I'll just keep on um, commentating on this a little bit. I don't think we will be tuck here. Um, I don't think there isn't even is DRS up this straight for some reason. I don't know where the DRS straight is. Perhaps um, because, of course, there is only one straight here. It might as well be this straight that we're coming on to now, perhaps. Actually, yeah, it is. This is the DRS straight. So, Button might try and get us here. Let's have a look how he gets on. Of course, he had DRS here last time, didn't he? How could I forget that? But uh, he's trying to keep it up the outside, but can't get through. We're producing enough of a blockade, but admittedly, on this game, the drivers aren't very aggressive. But as it stands, we are under pressure from McLaren, like just like we were in America. But as it stands at the moment, we are remaining at the top of the grid. Oh, no, we're not going to do it again, are we? Surely, we've done exactly what we did in bloody America. Oh, for goodness sake. We did it in America. We've done it here. We misjudged our breaking into that corner. And Button's just going to go now. He's going to fly away. 
because that's what happens. You know, they're not very aggressive behind you, but as soon as they get through, they're like a bullet train. And that's exactly what Button's done. And uh, that's going to be a sucker punch. But, you know, it's happened again. It happened in uh, the US. It's happened here. And to be honest, I doubt we're going to be able to catch back up to Button. But again, we've just got to consolidate this second place. But that's so annoying that one mistake in an otherwise flawless race, it might well be, uh, will determine the result. I have actually gained a little bit on Button in the last few laps. Although, typically, as we start to... Uh, commentate that will fall away you can guarantee it now but my decision will be to do in terms of this pit stop exactly the opposite of whatever button does so we can try and get the undercut or the overcut doing the same strategy won't work to try and regain the lead of this race but the gaps remain fairly decent a 6.2 a 2.6 second gap to button is he going to come in or is he not if he comes into the pits we will stay out and buttons come into the pits we're going to stay out get a good lap in and hopefully overcut and jump button when we come out of the pits just about to come in the pit lane then don't know where button is at all uh, which increased the suspense which is quite nice for this little fiasco but uh, oh it's still a straight entry to the pit lane of course here but we're getting all slowed down for the pit oh what a great time for the controller to disconnect right we're back up and running Hopefully the pit stop's a good one and we don't get blocked at any point. We've got about a five second gap to Lewis, so I don't think that should be a problem here. Come on, get it out, get it gone. Oh, unbelievable! Oh, one of the guys uh, who's obviously behind us in the race. Wow, Button's already gone. Look at that gap he's got. Well, the undercut looked to be the best strategy there, obviously, but... Even a few seconds that we would have gained wouldn't have made a difference, because Button has gone right up the road and if anything we're just close to Lewis Hamilton now we were about five seconds clear at Hamilton whereas he's right on our back now someone's gone out of the race let's find out who that is uh, Alonso Vettel down to 10th blimey who's out it is uh Maldonado's gone that's a bit of a shame about Maldonado going but Vettel down to 10th place he's certainly not going to take this championship uh, but Hamilton and Alonso both need to fall down a peg or two if Button is going to take this title Four laps to go here in Brazil, and I will commentate until the end, because I do appreciate that this video has not been the most exciting. It's been very much just a straightforward Grand Prix. A lot of the Grand Prix in the later season have been really for us. We've started quite well on the grid. I mean, there's not been much overtaking and just really holding position more than anything, even though we can hold that first position. That's a little bit unfortunate, but unless something drastic happens now, which I don't think it will in the uh, laps preceding the end of the Grand Prix, uh, Lewis Hamilton will win the championship. It was a bit of a surprise, really, because I would have expected it was be between Button and Vettel because those are the two guys that have been up there uh, for the majority of the season, I would say, from what I can remember. Uh, but good for Hamilton if you can win the championship, of course. But it's been a brilliant year uh, for us. I've really enjoyed going back to this game and playing it. It's a game that, obviously, I haven't played since it was in its cycle. So it's been at least five or six years since I've actually played F1 2012 uh, for a career mode purpose and I have to say I've really enjoyed it seems you guys have as well uh, The guys of you that have been liking these these videos commenting. Uh, it's always appreciated of course and uh, I'll be producing some more videos on Formula one on oh, we've got Hamilton coming up the inside but We can block that off a little bit. Let's just uh, Keep this going. No, nope, we're okay. Alonso just behind Hamilton though now. They seem to be creeping up on Lewis so this might change the uh, complexion of the championship if uh, Alonso beats both us and Hamilton, I believe that um, Alonso will win the championship. Don't prove me on that, but uh, it seems that whoever this person who's been lapped by Button is has actually uh, managed to be able to close the gap between ourselves and Button because he's never been as close as that. But is that a Mercedes? Let's have a quick look. Um, it's not a Mercedes. Who is it then? Who's at the back of the field? It's Carfacayan, but it looks like a Mercedes for some reason. Might just morph into a Mercedes. Really not sure what's happened there, but. Um, you know, I will do videos on Formula 1 2013. Uh, it just seems like a natural progression, really, rather than doing it, pardon me, a second season on this game. On the career mode. Where's Alonso gone? Alonso just vanished. Alonso, I think he's got a problem, you know. He's down to seventh place. He's, uh, well, he's not spun or anything, because that would uh, highlight straight away. Goodness knows what's happened to Button, though, here. Look how close Button is now to us. Um, this could be an opportunity, you know, to... Hold on. Oh, what a tool. Button's up the road. Button's half a blooming minute up the road. It's two drivers that are fighting, Carfacayan and Petrov. Oh, that's a classic. Who's gone? Is it Alonso who has retired from this race? 
Doesn't look like it, actually. It's Timo Glock in the Marussia who has retired from this race. We've got DRS, though, for the first time this afternoon. So we'll take that and just try and overtake uh, Carthy Kane and Hamilton. Well, not Hamilton. Carthy Kane and Petrov, if Hamilton was all the way down there. Button would be screaming from the rooftops in that he might just win the championship. But it just seems like natural progression to go on to F1 2013 uh, in the next series. That's going to be a few weeks away, though. I want to take a week or two off Formula 1 2012 for a few reasons. A, because Snooker 19 comes out in the next week. So uh, I want to focus on that on the channel for a few weeks. And B, it's just a nice break uh, to have from the game after playing for 10 weeks consistently. I don't want to put any pressure on myself to have to reproduce videos. Um, so bear in mind that F1 2019 will come out at the end of June. Um, I will plan, it might not come to it might not come to the plan, but I hope this will happen, um, that we can do three videos a week on that and then get that season done before F1 2019, which I might or might not be getting um, on pre-order. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do that because I've hardly touched F1 2018. So... I want to play a bit of that before I decide whether to get F1 2019. But going on to the final lap of the season, we look like we're going to finish in third here. Uh, second even, sorry. Alonso's nowhere, so it looks like Hamilton, unless he has a big penalty coming his way, which I very much doubt. There's, you know, there's no indication that he's got a penalty coming anywhere. Um, he will win this Formula 1 World Championship. And that's just a surprise, really, but cracking end to the season from us. Some brilliant positions. Um, would have been even better if we could have won... Uh, or finish second in the Grand Prix of India. Button retired, of course, from that race. So, you know, you, you can look throughout the season, look where drivers haven't performed. But if he hadn't have gone into the back of Schumacher in the top sort of three or, or four positions, he might well have been in a better position to win this championship. But he'll take the final race, much like he did um, in real life. That, of course, was Jensen Button's last Formula 1 win. Sounds absolutely bonkers to say that. But it was. Hamilton's uh, done a lot better since then. And, of course, on the game next year, we'll be driving for Mercedes. This is uh, the last race you'll see. Hamilton and McLaren. Jensen Button wins the Grand Prix. But Lewis Hamilton is going to win the championship and do a Damon Hill. He's going to go from one team to the other after he wins a championship. Do we give Hamilton the position? No, we're a racer until the end. We're going to congratulate Hamilton, though, on winning the World Championship in Formula 1. But a good race from us nonetheless. Two seconds in a row to finish off the season and two very solid races to finish off the Formula 1 season. But it's all done now. Really sad, but uh, good stuff nonetheless. Well, we finished sixth, second in that race. Alonso, seventh. Vettel with only one point. Unfortunately, though, no points for Kimi Räikkönen on the last race of the season. But uh, on the podium, it's the three Brits. Just the only thing to swap was ourselves and Button. Mark Webber, Kobayashi and Rosberg benefiting from the uh, downfalls of Alonso and Vettel. But that is the race result. And this is the finalised championship standings in which Button went up to second. Only seven points behind his compatriot and teammate Lewis Hamilton. But they take a 1-2 in the championship. Alonso finishes third with Vettel and Webber behind. Webber actually not too far behind Vettel in the end. That's interesting. And we pulled quite clear of um, Rosberg and Perez. And Rosberg, in the end, managed to join the 100 club. But we also confirm we finished fourth in the Constructors. 30 points clear of Mercedes. McLaren wins the Constructors, and the only team not to get a point this season was Caterham. But I really enjoyed that, folks. I really enjoyed the 20 races on F1 2012. I can't really believe it's all finished. Um, and I possibly might never play this game again, which seems a real shame. But, ah, oh well, it's one of them things. Uh, but yeah, second place to finish the season. We go to Park Ferme, and uh, this is a nice treat. We can congratulate the world champion, something that hopefully will be one day, maybe next year in the Lotus. That Lotus is a good car next year, as it was this year, to be fair. But uh, we'll have a full year in the Lotus next year. We'll have a chance at more victories. We could have had three or four wins, but things haven't quite gone our way uh, in the second half of the season. In in the you know in my way. Um, in terms of the way I've driven and just look. So, bear that in mind. But, so we're going to continue anyway. Just see what the team have to say at the end of the season. And there you go. The season's been complete. We've got uh, no fastest laps, unbelievably, um, in terms of our teammates. Uh, full poles. Our average finishing position was 8th. And we got one win. We beat a rival. We won the teammate challenge. And we got plenty of XP. But, of course, the game automatically pro progresses to Season 2, in which it all starts again in Australia. But uh, we went to equal status, which is absolutely fantastic, and we're back at Albert Park. But, of course, this will be where this series ends on Formula 1 2012 anyway. I'll be going to a, for a few weeks um, now on Snooker 19, so no F1 content for a few weeks. But after that, 
we will be starting our F1 2013 career mode once again with Lotus. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and for your support throughout. But until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.